All right, what's going on, y'all? Manager boy DMV Hoods and News, right here reporting live. We right here live from around Ridgecrest. They go to buildings in the back. We right here on the DC Maryland borderline. We on the Maryland side, right here in Highsville. So Ridgecrest, shout out my man Jug Man Manny and shit. Man, my man got the motherfucking degrees, and he still be in the trenches and shit. You know what I'm saying? He be showing love. I was going, I was going to slide him and see if he was some robbers. I was going to interview him, but he ain't never hit me back. I'm already around his way. I got me a little shape up my lineup, job a little bit better and shit. So we gonna get straight right here to it. But why are we talking about this though? You know. I'm saying I don't want to just do hood tours and just show hoods off and shit. Now nah, I want to do a little bit more than that. I want to have discussions why I do the hood tours and shit. And I think that's a smart thing to do. You know what I'm saying? And one thing I want to have a discussion on is um, the DMV area artists. You know what I'm saying? I mean, no, 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 no. This ain't got nothing to do with artists for real. It kind of do, but it kind of don't. The real discussion is do um. Why is the new generation of the DMV is actually, um, why is the new generation of the DMV, is it, um, copying other, other people and shit like that? You know what I'm saying? If you notice over the years, DC was like the trendsetters. We did things differently. We wore new balances, even though the whole world thought it wasn't cool. It goes this little ass dog right here on fucking chilling road. This motherfucker come there, me, I'ma kick the shit out of him too. Look at this little ass nigga right here. You better keep it walking. I'll fuck your ass up. Nah, I run like shit. I ain't going well. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, yeah, man. So we gonna get right here straight to it, man. So you know what I'm saying because. When we was young as growing up, the old heads used to complain about us because we wanted to be like uh, niggas. Like, we wanted to dress y'all like the South and shit. I remember the little the Atlanta shirts with the highlighted three on the motherfucker and shit. You know what I'm saying? But we wouldn't, we wouldn't overdo it. We, we'd slight do it, but we wouldn't overdo it. But it seemed like this generation want to be everybody else but they that motherfucking self. You know what I'm saying? We still had our original style. Yeah, we, we grew the dreads out. You know, bitches was jocking Lil Wayne. We was like, man, we want the we want the bitches that Lil Wayne got. So, you know what I'm saying? We got the dreads. You know what I'm saying? Some of them. Me, I didn't grow my dreads because of Lil Wayne and shit. I just thought I had. I just thought I looked better with dreads and shit. I still think I look better with dreads. But I had, you know, had to mature up. You know what I'm saying? And, and cut the hair so forth. So, you know what I'm saying? So, whole time though. But, uh, for real, for real. Uh, what I'm about to say, um, but for the most part, I still kept the DC though. I had a DC. I kept the DC New Balances. Kept it. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I was like chilled up time. I ain't never do too much. Like with my dress game, I was fly, but I wasn't too fly. Like you know what I'm saying? Fly to the point you get your ass robbed. You know what I'm saying? Like I got cut. Like one day I, I was coming out a little too fly. One time, nigga shot breaks me when I was getting out of school. And I had a whole old. I had a whole old tree on me on the side and stuff. I was like 17. No, I was 18. You know what I'm saying? I think I told that story before and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just I just learned not to be too flamboyant and shit. Plus, I got big ass feet. Look at these big ass feet, Slim. Feet big as shit, boy. I wear 14 wide. You know what I'm saying? I wear 14 wide out here. I can't be out here. I can't be out here uh rocking fucking anything out here, son. Fucking feet gonna be leaning. You know what I'm saying? Shoulder lean, shoulder lean, like shit though. But now, um, yeah, it just seems like these 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 people today, man. And I think I think it has a lot to do with the lack of the uh, the, the go go culture, man. I think because the go go culture, I, I think as far as the lingo, uh, where the fuck we came from, uh, everything like that, man. I think everything that we came from. Um, what I'm trying to say, everything that we learned, everything from, came from the go go culture. The turn rolling, the first time I heard that term was from MOB. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? As far as being your feet, chopping it all, like the go go, the DC go go culture kind of influenced the area in a way because the slangs, because go go was kind of looked upon as. You know what I'm saying? They was the idols. They was the people we looked up to. We didn't have no celebrities and shit. If you wasn't a drug, if you was, you was you either had to be in a go-go band or you had to be a, a kingpin getting money or a nigga getting money in the streets. That's what we looked up. We ain't look up to no rappers. Rappers used to get their ass beat and shot at coming out here and shit. You know what I'm saying? We thought rappers was corny. That's why we thought DMV rappers was corny. You know what I'm saying? So coming up out here and shit. We right here down Fleetwood Village, man. Uh, I believe this is um, part of Red's Crest, too. I don't really know why they call it Red's Crest, because I try to look up, like, the, the Red's Crest area and shit like that. But uh, the only thing I found was uh, Red's Crest Elementary School and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's that in the third, so... 
know what I'm saying? But yeah, this shit just look trenched out. I ain't gonna bug it. You know what I'm saying? We right on the DC. DC right there across the street. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I was saying though, whole time though, uh, motherfucking um, yeah, like, like I was saying before, like, yeah, man, the go-go culture, man, came from, the go-go culture came from motherfucking uh, kind of gave the people like their identity for real, and now, now that ha that has died out a little bit and shit like that, people don't really recognize that that much. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm saying for real, for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? They don't really recognize. They don't really recognize. They don't have that recognition they used to. Now they now they trying to do everything that their favorite rapper doing. Now, there are some people that there's kids and stuff like out here that looks up to the DMV robbers and they swag and how they carry themselves. You know what I'm saying? But most of the time, them robbers be, you know what I'm saying, copying off the artists that's out now. You know what I'm saying? I remember that phase where everybody wanted to dress and talk like the Migos. I remember, you know what I'm saying, that phase still going on to this day. You know what I'm saying? Uh, motherfucking, um, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, man, uh, CEO Juan, man, he was all on Twitter talking about, you know, niggas wearing, uh, gold teeth and shit. That's not our shit, you know what I'm saying? We gonna, we gonna make that turn right down here, too. You know what I'm saying? We down Sheridan Apartments right here. This for Red's Crash shit, too. So we gonna go up the hill. It's raining like shit. Well, it ain't raining like shit. Y'all about to rain, though. Let me put this hoodie on. But, whole time, though. But the whole time, though, like, yeah. Um, what am I about to say? Fuck, I'm I'm over here thinking about something in my head. Though. Thinking about something. Um, but yeah, like I said though, um, you know, um, motherfucker, um, niggas wearing gold teeth in their mouth. I remember back in the days, niggas down six forty uptown. We used to go to Black Hole. Them niggas, like when when the grill thing was like real big on the south, like that that goes back to like you know what I'm saying some niggas like was jaw like imitating niggas in the south. We was doing slight shit that we like, you know what I'm saying. But we wasn't overdoing it. The newer generation kind of like overdo it, like they dress just like them niggas. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck what nobody say. New York niggas was not the first niggas rocking that shit, knocking that, rocking that small boy shit. You know what I'm saying? They was rocking that rock style style. They started that shit when Jim Jones made that shit hot. We was not like, I was really the only like nigga listening to Jim Jones for real. You know what I'm saying? If anybody like everybody listening like in DC was listening to Dips Dip Set as a whole. You know what I'm saying? But nobody was going, nobody in DC was just going out there buying fucking Jim Jones albums and shit. You know what I'm saying? I had Jim Jones first and second album and shit. You know what I'm saying? When he was wearing baggy ass clothes in 05. My man was like one of the few. My man JR, my man Ty, free Ty too. You know what I'm saying? He was one of the first to wear the smaller clothes. He wasn't, at the time, they weren't wearing the bony bony, but they was kind of like wearing the white boy era pastel shit. You know what I'm saying? They was not the first ones to wear smaller clothes, bruh. I, 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 I'll get that shit down to, to the T. Because I ain't seen New York niggas start rocking that shit to late 06, 07 when motherfucking Jim Jones started rocking that rock style style. And their style of smaller clothes was not our style of smaller clothes. You know what I'm saying? We started, you know, doing a little bit of the rock style shit at first, but we started off with the white boy shit, the era pastel, more the skateboard style and shit. That's what the fuck we was doing out here. You know what I'm saying? So... You know what I'm saying? So, that's mostly, that was mostly our swag for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying though. You know what I'm saying? Like, DC always had their own. I just think DC need to get back on their shit. Like, get back on their originality shit, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that just, that's just, that's just, like my, that, that's just a little bit of my opinion for real, for real, though. You know what I'm saying? But do you though, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? But niggas out here dressing like little Uzi Vert. You know what I'm saying? With the color ass cornrows and shit. I mean, dreadlocks and shit. Like, do you, bro. You ain't got to dress like none of these other niggas and shit. Like, do you. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. Honestly, that's just my opinion, though. I mean, y'all can have y'all own for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. Um, what y'all think about the situation, man? You think it's because of the lack of the go-go culture, man? Or you, you think it's kind of like just, just a little bit more than that, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The gold, as far as the grills, as far as the motherfucking colorful ass dreads, the flamboyant style and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you think it's gone too far or whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Jesus just looked down on us because we, you know what I'm saying? So... You know what I'm saying? We looking at uh your next generation, next generation way worse than us. You know what I'm saying? And even with that, we were still original. You know what I'm saying? You can still tell we was from the city and shit. And I understand also that styles also change as well. You know what I'm saying? 
I understand completely and I respect that. You know what I'm saying? I understand people like like niggas ain't gonna rock the same shit I was rocking back in 08. You know what I'm saying? I understand that shit completely though. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. Y'all put y'all comments and y'all opinions, man. It's your boy DMV Hudson News and we got one. Hold on, I'm not gone yet because uh motherfucker uh I'm not gone yet because I ain't even get the whole neighborhood tour yet. You know what I'm saying? Gotta show the whole neighborhood though. You know what I'm saying? I forgot this is a hood tour too. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we we gonna show this right here is Sheridan Apartments. Right here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was gonna actually move in here, man. They got they got a nice little rental special over here. You know what I'm saying? For the nice price. Chill them turns. Sheridan Apartments, right here. Red Crest. It's like mostly Hispanics, but it got some black people in here. It's like a little bit mixed area. There's some niggas, some goons walking down the hill. And I ain't about to turn right there. You know what I'm saying? I don't want niggas motherfucker be like, oh, who the fuck is recording my neighborhood and shit? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, though. <laughs> anyway, it's your boy DMV Hudson News. We go.